Oli from Oli Bricks here. How's everyone doing? I'm a brick can and uh, checking out all the builds and um, gonna show you a bunch of stuff that I've seen and it's my first year here at Brick Can. So uh, yeah, uh, here it is. Okay, so uh, Oli from the, the future here. Uh, we're looking at uh, the pirates layout first. A lot of good pirate builds here. Here we have like a snow, ice age, cave people build. Moving into this one is called Forest Fort. Moving into some castle. This is a Jinji, I think it's called Jinji's Revenge. It was a great gingerbread style castle build. Super intricate, fun part usage. Here's a big, impressive looking castle with uh, the land in front of it. This is a science fair built in um, like modules great detail on that one above it is a pub I believe of some kind it was a, a modular style but all opened up here is like a brewery like winter brewery Christmas this is a great uh, minifigure centric build for a wrestling ring and then we got some realistic war defense uh, boats and, and planes now we're into some more oh yeah there's the fur ballroom there Moving through some, that was a, a cherry pirate ship as well. Now we're into, we, there's a couple of places called Space Bar. That's the first Space Bar there that you saw. Here's the second Space Bar. This one was one of my favorite builds. Just super fun and classic space uh, themed. Some more space stuff over here, kind of a little bit more, say, realistic, I suppose. And into some uh, fire engines. Oh, this was this was a really great steampunk build. He hung it from the ceiling. This is Clue, the board game Clue. So fun. Uh, train, we went to the trains next. So this is the train, one of the train layouts. A lot of track, some great um, stickers that they found for uh, all the train cars. It's a boat in the harbor, but on a train track, which is fun. Some skyscrapers in the background there. This is a big city style layout with more trains. This is a Ninjago build, near and dear to my heart. Great, great Ninjago stuff. We're 
We're getting into more uh, realistic architecture, I believe, in this table. This was a, like a, a parade, a float parade. City, city layout buildings. This is like on the other side of the skyscraper. So you can see the bottom of the skyscraper there. It's a train station. Really well done with the clear. And the bridge in the background. That was an, that's an arcade with a coffee shop on the bottom. And G spot stands for gaming spot. It's a place where you play video games. Bunch of just good modular style buildings, even larger than modular scale. This one was good, had some decorated interiors. Train coming by. This is a train that um, he was running that emptied its contents. Dumps out all those silver one by one round tiles. They go all the way back into the bucket. This is a halo build. I have not played Halo, but it is a Halo build. It's Mr. Bean's Mini, as you can see. It was a, a town hall from somewhere. This is a Stranger Things build. Cups there. Tea cup cakes, maybe. Okay, so we're at the GBC now. So this was upstairs. Uh, by far the loudest area the convention uh, big connected GBC model that it was uh, yeah fun to see in person found one red ball amongst the white and orange ones, so I don't follow it for very long, but it's something to focus on.
This was also upstairs, a very uh, elaborate fire hall. And then a micro scale, futuristic, uh, th this is a Blade Runner micro scale. There it is, that's taken from the balcony. So this has been my POV of the Brick Can 2023. I uh, really appreciate sticking around to the end, checking out what I checked out. Uh, I'm Oli from Oli Bricks, and uh, enjoy the builds. <laughs>